Should we save a plate for Dad? I brought him food earlier. He refused to eat. He's too preoccupied with this next big adventure he's cooking up in his head. You know, that's just like Dad. Once adventure is on his mind, he can't focus on anything else. He's never lost his drive. You have to give him that. Well, I've never regretted retiring my questing boots. It allowed me to devote my full attention to raising my daughter. Isn't that right, my little cuddlebug? <laughs> Dad, stop. You're embarrassing me. Oh, come now, Alexander. We were raised going on adventures, and we turned out just fine. Well, you know what I mean. Look at Gart. He's been questing since he could crawl. And shaping up to be quite the handsome prince, if I do say so myself. Well, thanks for saying so, Mother. Oh, I do hope you decide to take Gwendolyn on her own adventure soon. She's got it in her blood. You can't keep her safe forever. <laughs> she can go out questing for danger when she's older. We like to do things a little differently in the Green Isles. You can say that again. Not enough addendums and far too few decrees. <clears throat> Pardon the interruption, milady. I see. Thank you. God, the chambermaid found this crumbled up in your waste bin. I am assuming it fell. Yes. Um, thank the shining stars they found it. I was looking all over for that. It must have blown right off my desk. <laughs> g g give it here. I'll, I'll deliver it right after supper. No need. I'll deliver it myself in the morning. Guard, I told you to keep the windows closed in your room. <laughs> it's so breezy in there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can you please pass the peas? Gart, did you not hear Gwendolyn? Oh, apologies. I thought that was a mint mouse squeaking in the courtyard. What did you say? <clears throat> I asked you to please pass Gart, the... please pass the peas to your cousin. The little highness can reach them herself. I'm not here to serve her. You would be honored to serve. Children, that's enough. There you go, dear. Or was that so hard? Now, can we just finish up dinner in peace? Grandpa would like to speak with everyone after dinner. Ugh, I hate the smell of that lavender. When I'm king, we will never serve those abominations again. Oh, do tell us, Gart. What qualities do you possess that would make for a good king? Well, for one, I've been raised in this castle and trained to properly take over the kingdom. Unlike some other children who have only had adventures in their imaginations. Boys! I don't like where this conversation is going. Daventry is our home, Alexander. You chose to run away with a princess and rule over her kingdom. Who else besides Gart would make a good king? I don't know. I hear Kyle has some big ideas. Kyle? Really? Uncle, you're acting like a buffoon. Well, if this is how children raised by royalty treat their elders, then I'm proud that Gwendolyn and I grew up outside these castle walls. What? So now your family is too good for Daventry? It would be an honor for me to be king. But for you, it's just a burden? Knock it off, Gart! No! You're just a little girl, nothing more than a dreamer. If you didn't encourage Grandfather's ramblings, he might actually notice that I am the only man for the job. Sit down. You're embarrassing the family. Ah! You will never be half the king Grandpa is. And he would never, ever leave the kingdom to such a spoiled, thoughtless child. I may be a little girl, but you're the one that needs to grow up. Ah, uh, distress. I think it would be best to cool off in your rooms. Everybody. No one is allowed to see Grandpa until you can all get along. Grandpa, can I come in? Gwendolyn, 
You've disobeyed your grandma by sneaking in here. I was told everyone was sentenced to their chambers. Do you know what that means? That I should go back to my room, take this time to reflect in my journal. No, it means you should pull up a chair and I can finish this story without any more interruptions. I think I crossed a line tonight. Oh, I'm sure you did. Good thing this story is all about crossing lines. That golden... You'll find this puzzle is easier without all that extra weight, Mr. Majesty. That golden that golden arrow was to say it, but this is so much easier alone. Who sculpted those guards? I couldn't shake the feeling that they seem like first drafts, failed attempts at some larger art project. Don't worry, Mr. Majesty, he'll learn his lesson. Such a shame how parents treat their kids these days.
This puzzle was light on teenage angst. I appreciated that. I wish I could just snap and bring you to the end of the labyrinth, but alas, I lack opposable thumbs. I'm afraid you'll just have to solve this on your own. I don't mean to salt a wound, but are you even sure that he's your son? It's not like you're cut from the same cloth. How do you know this Alexander is not an imposter? I almost wished I had Alexander's fire to solve this one, but I would get through it without any dark magic. Magic needed to solve this.
But how did you resolve your fight? I need some tips to get Gart to be nicer to me. Are you sure something else isn't bothering him? Have you tried asking him? Or are you assuming it has to do with you? Well, he's cordial to everyone else. I might dig a little deeper into that. Okay, this one might be a little easier with two people. Okay, so some help on this would have been nice. Might have saved my back a bit. <laughs>
this is great and all, but are you sure Gart shouldn't be listening to this? He's the one who started it all. He needs to apologize. It's not always about who's right and who started it, Gwendolyn. Have you tried approaching Gart calmly? You might be surprised what you find. Welcome to the Riddle Room. This is my favorite puzzle. Probably because I helped design it. Great. <clears throat> what am I? I have a head, but no arms to flail. I have no legs, yet I have a tail. Hmm. Did you need the riddle again? <clears throat> I have a head, but no arms to flail. I have no legs, yet I have a tail. What am I? Did you need the riddle again? <clears throat> I have a head, but no arms to flail. I have no legs, yet I have a tail. Give that to me. Set it on the old. Huh. You are correct, but it won't be that easy. I've got another riddle for you in here. Proceed. What am I? Every morning a noggin I shed, and every evening I regain my head. Every morning a noggin I shed, and every... I come in different colors, I come in different shapes. Some parts of me are round, some parts of me are straight. Our picture can be clear, but we love to obfuscate. Do you have it yet? Grandpa, do you think I'm ready for my first adventure? Of course, dear. But uh, <laughs> not without your father's permission, of course. You know, your cape really isn't that illustrious. I don't know why that little peddler keeps ranting about it. I'm fit for a king and taste very sweet. Thick or thin, serve for breakfast, Graham's favorite treat. The riddle might be easy, but the answer takes some thinking.
Dear, I don't mean to be a downer, but your current puzzle time has just disqualified you from second... One final riddle, if you would. What am I? I am higher than the shining stars and greater than the land or sea. What's the one thing that's worth breaking the bonds of family? I have to admit I'm surprised you got that one right. You should really practice what that riddle teaches. Perhaps the Sphinx was right. I needed to rethink this puzzle of parenting. Excellent work, Mr. Majesty. You are a natural. Wonderful. So I have removed all the pieces from the board. I'd have to puzzle out the path. Lucky for me, it appeared all the pieces were already set in their proper rotation. just a few steps away from your family now. I wouldn't expect anything less from the hero of Daventry. Congratulations, Graham. You have won the labyrinth. You may now claim your prizes inside. Rosella! Valenice! Team Sovereign, assemble! You can come out now. I'm not a fan of abstract art. I'm pretty sure I...
It's getting closer, but the nose still isn't right. Hello there. Welcome to my gallery. Niece? You're mistaken. My name is Isabella. I'm not sure I agree. Well, I sign all my work that way, so you will address me as such. Noted. And you are? Graham. King Graham. Compassionate, don't you remember? No. Sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. But... but... we had an adventure in Avalon. We tumbled down that giant hill? Oh, the squirrels. You remember the squirrels, right? I rescued you from that... this... tower? I assure you that wasn't me. And I recommend dropping the subject immediately. My apologies. It's been a while since I've had a visitor. Did you enjoy my art? I did. I always have. And the puzzles? Where did you learn to make such intricate puzzles? Oh, a friend taught me. Ages ago. I see. And what brings you to my ice palace? I was told that if I made it to the center of the labyrinth, my family would be here waiting for me. Do you know where they are? Oh, <laughs> the Sphinx must be playing a game with you. I love my best friend, but she can be quite silly. What? Did you think those puzzles were designed to keep people out of this tower? <laughs> I created this labyrinth to keep people in. I don't like it when my friends run away. I had no idea you were holed up here. We would have come here sooner Oh, if... it's quite all right. The Sphinx was there for me when all my other friends moved on. She gave me this crown and dubbed me queen. Now I rule this tower. Where did you take Rosella and Valenice? Valenice? Now that's a name that sounds familiar. She's here, you say? No, 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 that, that, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm sorry I haven't seen them. You'll have to file a complaint with the Sphinx. Oh, I've got a few choice words for that Sphinx. She's back this way, right? Where are you going? I told you no one ever leaves, right? <gasps> Friends, escort our new addition to the carving room. Let me go! I demand you release me! So vacation this turned out to be. I could be remembering this wrong, but I couldn't see down here from the top level. Another ice palace curiosity, I guess. This carving room held some pretty dark secrets. I didn't want to know where all those ice blocks came from. If I squinted, it almost... I was cold, upset, and didn't see any way forward. Then things got worse. Excellent work. You, my friend, are a natural. Where's my father? Oh, Mr. Majesty, you have beat him here by a mile. He's trapped in a puzzle and can't figure out the solution. Alexander! Stop! It's a trap! Alexander! 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 That's great work, Gwydion. Thanks. It's actually been a while since I've been called that. I kind of miss it. That name does suit you. Now, just a few more puzzles and you will solve the labyrinth. Your family is anxiously waiting for you at the top of that tower. No! Leave him out of this! Hmm... I might need a hint on this one. Oh, thank the Shining Stars he's no good at puzzles. That should do it. Okay. That was actually impressive. Oh, Gwydion, I just wish your father could be here to celebrate your win. Pity that he only appreciates talents that are exactly like his own. 
I, however, love watching your clever magic and encourage you to use it on this last puzzle. That's not true! It's never been true. How can I prove it to you? There was no way I was going to lose my son again. I was wrong for expecting him to carry out my legacy. I needed to show him that I loved him for who he is and who he wanted to become. If only I could just snap and share the unconditional love burning inside my heart. Wait. Perhaps I could. I needed to snap like I never snapped before. I needed to get fired up. Come on, fireball. Ah! Dad? Was that you? The flames had cleared up the ice spell. But that was hardly on my mind at that moment. Son, I love you just the way you are. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Do you think your tiny human arrow will pierce my skin? Oh, it's not your hide I'm aiming for. Well then. Take your move. <laughs> Morons! Tiny arrows will never defeat the divine intellect of the Sphinx. I thought you were a man of the mind, Graham. Stop toying with the Sphinx. Where are Rosella and Valenice? Trust me, the games are done and my playtime is over. The Ice Queen will deal with your family now. Thanks for the entertainment. Mm. Did you find anything particularly strange about that overgrown kitty? You mean besides the fact that it talks, thinks itself pretty clever, and is incredibly manipulative? Mm-hmm. Manny! I think that furball was sipping from this pile of Cosmo Lotion. It would appear so. It would be irresponsible for us to leave this pile of potions here like this. I think you need to set it ablaze. Are you sure? You keep doing you, Alexander. You had to make this cheesy. We have to find the girls before the Ice Queen does. Find who? Thank the Shining Stars you're alive. I could say the same for you. <laughs> the Sphinx told us that you were both trapped at the top of that tower. Oh, did he now? Don't you mean she? Nope. The Sphinx is Manny. <sighs> Figures. Oh, and the Ice Queen. Yes, I suspected as much. All the sculptures here have the essence of Nice. I knew for certain when I found this. We need to get out of here before we all get iced. I am not leaving without Nice. The only way out is back through the labyrinth. <laughs> Let's solve it together this time. On the way out of that labyrinth, we decided to pair up based on who would best be able to solve each room. Well, this looks impossible and dangerous. I hope we make it out alive. Nonsense. You're just saying that because no one ever has. Only I could see both of the lines. After being tormented about Alexander for 18 years, it was about time I gave my daughter the full attention she deserved. Up! Got it! Yep! You have to watch what I'm doing! We set up that Yeti on a blind date? Yes, what about it? Oh, nothing. Is anybody curious? Yes, I do still have some appetizers stashed in one of my pockets. Wish I had my spiky sword of fire. Textbook puzzle. Hmm. 
Why didn't you hand down the crown to Aunt Rosella? She was always off on her own adventures with Edgar. Then she had Gart, and she was much more interested in training him to be king. Nice must have been expecting us with this puzzle. Choose our strategy. I'll go down to the board, but you better keep me safe. Always. The Ice Guards were not highly skilled wits players like Manny. They only moved side to side, and they never moved shields. I needed to navigate V to the tile with a door to win. Failure would not be good for our marriage. You're going to have to guide me. I can't see the whole board.
finished it. We made it. Not quite. Oh, would you kindly? Of course, friend. Everybody freeze! <gasps> oh, bravo, yes. I command you to release us now, Sphinx. All of us. Our bonds are thicker than this brittle ice. Um, dear, I think you meant release us, Mananan. No, that's only what his slaves call him. Let us go, Manny. Your cover's blown. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Your new family figured out my greatest puzzle. <coughs> <coughs> it took you long enough, morons. That accent is not the easiest on the vocal cords. <coughs> and you, Gwydion. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I don't know what I was expecting. Disappointments run in your bloodline. You were supposed to restore Daventry from the cesspit it's become. What were you thinking? Your little cat spell was just a minor setback. You should have known I have plenty of other slate friends with magical abilities. I raised you better than this. Now, your reckless behavior leaves me no other option but to freeze out you and your entire lineage. It's time to start a new legacy. Enough, Manny. Your abuse ends now. You took away my life, my joy, and my worth. And when I left, I chose not to be your slave anymore, to move on and find my own happiness, my own life. Now I know that destroying you won't bring back my childhood. But if it will save another innocent child, then I will melt the fur right off your face! Do not talk to my best friend that way! Good thing I'm ambidextrous. No! You might melt me. I hate that name! Nice, I know my friend is in there. Come home with me. We can fight this cold together. Don't listen. <coughs> <coughs> Don't listen to her. She's trying to manipulate you, my darling. She's not your friend. Friends don't abandon each other. Did I ever leave you? Niece, if I knew what was happening to you, I, I, I would have rushed to be by your side. I, I just got so busy with the castle and the kids and Must the... be nice to have such things to worry about. <gasps> Mom, should I blast her? Stay calm, Alexander. Princess Niece from Western Kalima, I need you to remember. Don't fall for her tricks. Your Majesty, listen to me. Your real friend. The one who gave you your friendship crown. Should I have given it to someone else? I could always crown another queen, you know. V, what have I done? All is forgiven. Come here. Ah! Nice! You monster! <laughs> Blast him, Alexander! Burn his hide! No, Mom. I've got a better idea. Yeah, this again? Dad, guide my shot! Take your best shot, Gwydion. My name is Alexander. Looks like you missed the mark. Again. Actually, that shot was just feline. Oh, how clever. A pup. 
I don't feel very well. Oh, I thought you liked the taste of cat cookies. No, no. What did you wait for it? Curse you, imbeciles! This is hardly the end of this. And from meow on, <coughs> Sarge, not again. Oh, please continue. <laughs> meow, hold on one second. <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> ah, forget it. Meow, you'll need to deal with this. <laughs> ah! We were trapped in the very same room as the last time. This time, I figured Alexander could just blast us out. Blast us out? But wouldn't that ruin the integrity of the puzzle? No, Dad. Let's beat this straight up. My son was finally taking to these puzzles, and I couldn't have been a prouder papa. The sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. The sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. The sign read, Remove four matchsticks, and you will see the answer lies in triangles of three. I'm going to put all the matchsticks back. The sign read, Remove four matchsticks, and you will see the answer lies in triangles of three. I solved it. I wasn't about... We needed to crack the code to escape the room. Intriguing. Fascinating. This might take some doing. All that was inside was a sequence of colors. Guys, I think I found something! Put all the clues on the table. Looks like... 
like I found a clue. Nah. -uh. Seems to be missing a piece. Nah. -uh. I almost got this. I think. Another clue. I want you to know, I still don't consider myself a puzzler, but they are growing on me. Anyone remember this? Oh, that won't help. I knew I was missing something. This must be the order to play the notes. Aww. I was hoping some secret compartment would unlock. I would have designed it that way. Uh, keep playing it. Dad, check this out. I got it. Well, I put the puzzle together. It's a nice picture, but I don't see how it's a clue. There was an extra piece, though. Not sure what that has to do with anything. I am so proud of you, son. Why, thank you. Another clue. Did someone help me? I've almost puzzled something out. I was at about Shoo! Shoo! She's in a better spot now, love. Go home. I know we will meet again, friend. 
Thank you for everything. It's easy to love someone at their best, when they do what you want them to. But the greatest puzzle our family ever solved was figuring out how to love each other at our worst. And even when we are cold to each other, we've always found ways to warm each other up. Could you scrape together another potion out of this? Perhaps with a few rare and miraculous ingredients, but it will take a very long time. I'll need to work under a new alias. King Graham is going to be hot on our tail. What did you have in mind, brother? I think it's time I shed my slave name. What do you think about the name Mordak? kitchen for you. What's this? Read it. Addendum 48677. I know this one. The King of Daventry may choose any worthy male to succeed the throne. Not that. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a proposed amendment. The above statement shall be modified to read, the King of Davendry may choose any worthy person to succeed them. I'm so sorry. I had no idea about the change. I know how hard you've worked to inherit the throne. That's not why I'm upset. Keep reading. Dearest officials, I'm writing to waive the 30-day holding period usually required for amendments of this nature. The changes outlined on this document must be enacted immediately due to my imminent death. Imminent? What? You told me he had a few good years left. We all thought he did. But, but now the doctors say he could go at any time. Any time? <laughs> I'm not ready to lose him. <laughs> it's okay, Gert. I'm not ready either. <laughs> <laughs> 